Hello, this is gonna be another video about using NotePlan, but this time I'm gonna talk about how I use an actual note, just an example note, instead of in the other video, I was talking mainly about how I use the daily notes. So somebody asked for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you what I'm doing right now, um, keeping in mind that I don't know that I've like perfected my system yet. This is all a work in progress. I've been using NotePlan for about six months now, and this is kind of what I'm doing right now that feels really good, but I'm still learning. So let me share with you kind of how I set things up. So a project note might look like this. So maybe I have this project that I'm working on that I'm calling project X. So I make that my header one. And then I would make some subheadings with header twos. And I have a reference material section at the top that I like to have, like any links that I continuously need for this project. I like to have that in a reference material section. So I usually have that at the top and this is actually not a to do. So I could just make it a bullet point instead since it's not something I need to check off. Anyway, this is just a hyperlink. So any files, documents that I need to reference often, I would just link them here and type in the URL. And then that would hyperlink out to any websites that I need or any files that I need. If it's a file, I just store everything in my Google Drive and then I link out to it. Okay, so that reference section. And then since this is a header, I can fold it down if I don't wanna focus on that. But I usually leave that maximized. And then I just have meeting notes for each of the times I might have a meeting. So say that I had a meeting on the 8th and I had a meeting on the 6th. I go backwards so that my most recent meeting is always at the top. So I go from bottom to top so that if I need to reference things, I can scroll down. But usually what I need is at the top of my document. So each time I have a meeting, I just add it to the top of the list. Okay, right now I'm doing meeting notes and then I'm just hyperlinking the date so that it backlinks to the day that I had the meeting on. And then I might have, if somebody shares a meeting agenda with me, I would hyperlink that here so that I have everything in one place. And then as the meeting's going, I would take notes right here. And then if there's any tasks that I need to follow up on, I just add a little to-do area and I add those tasks as actual to-dos and I assign a date to it. By assigning a date to it, it's gonna show up in my daily notes on that day because that triggers me to go back to this project note. Like I'm not just going into my project note unless I have a task to do that day. So for example, on this day, I don't have anything yet laid out for that day. It's in the future. But I see here in my reference section because I had assigned it to this day that I need to do something in my Project X. I need to do something related to the meeting notes that I took on April 8th. And what I need to do is whatever this task two is. And if I need more context, I can click on the gray area to bring me back to the actual project note so that I remember what I need to do. So that's how I lay it out. And that is how I trigger any reminders to myself to follow up on Project X. So I have certain things that maybe I have a meeting and I have certain items that I need to get to after the meeting, I assign dates to them. Even if I don't know an exact date, I just put a date in there so that it puts it on my calendar and reminds me and when I see that date, I can reschedule it closer to the event if I need to. I just need a reminder that I need to look back at this project note. So that's really important to me. So then uh, the old meeting note, so this would be my most recent meeting note. My old meeting notes, I might collapse them down because I don't really need them. And I can always look back at them if I need to reference them. Something else that I like to do is I like to have at the bottom some follow-up reminders. So even if I don't have like tasks, even let's say I finished all the tasks related to both of these meetings, it's all done. There's probably still stuff in Project X that I wanna reference back to or I wanna keep working on. Otherwise I would have closed this project and once I close it, I would archive the project, right? So if this project is still open, I probably still have work to be doing on this even if I don't have a specific task from the meeting. And so I like to have a section called follow-up reminders and then I just put in, like a lot of times I'll have a weekly check 
back in to each of my projects and I just space them out so that, you know, Monday I might look at project X, Tuesday I might look at project Y, Wednesday I might look at project Z so I can kind of keep all those projects juggled without overwhelming myself. And so I just space out those follow-up reminders. So maybe I would do, you know, each Monday I would put a follow-up reminder or maybe I just need to look at this project monthly. You could just put a reminder on a certain day of each month. So I like, again, these follow-up reminders for the same reason that I like to add the date to the task because then I don't need to remember to look at my various projects. My daily note will literally remind me to look back at my project. Follow-up reminder, look back at Project X, triggers a reminder to myself, okay, I better go back here. So that's how I'm setting things up right now. Again, I think it's pretty basic, not too fancy, but the date reminders are what is so amazing here. Because again, I just control everything through my daily notes and my daily notes remind me to go back into the various projects that I need to keep track of. So that's how I'm handling things. I hope this gave you some ideas. If you have any suggestions for me, please leave me some comments. I'm loving the interaction and seeing how other people are using NotePlan. It's so interesting and I'm learning so much. So thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful and bye for now.